Hi guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is going to be my sixth week postpartum update. I'm not going to go too into detail about the beginnings of my postpartum um, one or two weeks because I believe I did update a little bit on that in my Amir's uh, week of life vlogs. So if you want to know about that, please check that out. Um, so this is basically going to be kind of like from three weeks until now, six weeks. Um, I'm sorry, baby's awake over there in the swing, so I'm going to keep glancing over there. So I'm trying to focus here, but you know, obviously when you're a mom, you got to be multitasking. <laughs> so, um, also I do want to tell you that I'm going to be doing the breastfeeding portion of this, um, update and probably breastfeeding updates from now on in separate videos because I do think that it's a large enough topic and I don't want to make these videos super duper long like I have been. Um, I like want to try to condense things down as much as I possibly can. Anyway, so on with the uh, postpartum update. I'm going to start now with my doctor's appointment. I had my doctor's appointment uh, this past Thursday and they started off with my weight and I'm so happy to say that I have lost all of my pregnancy weight plus five pounds more. So I've lost a total of about 40 pounds. Um, so that's really, well, maybe about 42 pounds. So that's really awesome. Um, I really would like to lose more weight. Um, I am still, I'm technically in the obese category and although I don't feel obese, <laughs> I definitely am overweight. I feel overweight and I really want to get down, um, to a healthier weight. Um, not necessarily too concerned vanity wise with losing weight although it would be nice to you know look a little slimmer lose some of this fat here <laughs> I would really like to um, but it's more important for me for my health and that has become even more clear now that I have my little one to take care of um, yeah so at my postpartum visit uh, we found out my, about my weights that I lost um, a significant amount of weight and she said it was excellent and you know that to keep it up if whatever I'm doing and I did tell her that you know really I haven't really been dieting but my appetite I believe I mentioned this some of this might overlap that my um, appetite has really decreased um, since obviously since being pregnant um, but also just in general like I've always had a pretty healthy appetite but I have been not that hungry um, I still crave sweets, however, so I don't know if that's, well, I've always liked sweets, so I can't blame that on hormones, um, but yeah, I just really, I can't eat the portions that I used to, which is really good. I ate way too much of um, really not so great things, um, but, you know, that's part of it, and also I know that breastfeeding supposedly really helps because obviously it takes a lot, it takes more calories um, when you're breastfeeding, and um you definitely lose weight faster, uh, in my opinion, and, and what other people I know have experienced, they have too. So breastfeeding has really helped. Um, she also asked how breastfeeding was going, and I told her it was going great, and she knew about, um, you know, that I was breastfeeding and that I really didn't have any major issues or concerns. I did tell her about some of the, like, kind of the breast pain that I was explaining about in one of the uh, vlogs. Just sometimes, like, my breast and the other one that's not being nursed on it sometimes gets kind of like a pulsating pressure and she didn't she said that it was normal and she didn't see any signs of thrush so that's awesome um I didn't think I really did but you know you always be you're always wondering and seeing what the next thing is and wondering oh do I have that I feel like as a first time mom so yeah Awesome. Um, they also asked about my mood and my mood I told her and it's true I've just been feeling probably the best I felt maybe not ever but the best I felt in a very very long time and I don't really feel like I was depressed or anything like that but um, I do have a history of that and anxiety and you know those are things that I've been battling ongoing for a very long time but it hasn't really been a huge um, issue in the forefront right now it's it's not been a big issue for me late um, for, a, for a while but it has always kind of been something in the back of my mind or not back of my mind but it has always been an issue I've kind of struggled with on and off I guess put it that way um, but I've been feeling so refreshed and just amazing and I am just feeling blessed and I feel like this is like my destiny like to be a mom and to just be with I just feel so much more complete 
um, with him here and I feel amazing I am able to get stuff done around the house I mean he's such it really helps that he's such a calm baby I feel just fantastic so mood has been great and I really feel like it's my calling to be a mom and I hope that I can be um, a stay-at-home mom maybe sometime in soon or I'd like to do that maybe as we have um, other children so I do want to update on that too. Um, you know, we do want to have more children. I would love to have like three or four children, but I just don't know that with the way that today's economy is and, you know, we're a middle class working people. We don't have a lot of money. And obviously, you know, if you've watched my videos, you probably know because we live in a one bedroom apartment. I mean, we try to save and be smart about our money, you know, and, you know, just live within our means. Uh, so may not be realistic for us to have three or four children, but we definitely would love to be blessed with another one at least. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's smiling over there in his swing. <laughs> so cute. Um, yeah, so we love to be blessed with at least another baby, um, but not for a little while yet. I am 27, but I'd like to have one around the time I'm 30, maybe get pregnant when I'm 30, ideally, but I know life doesn't always go as is planned so um, that's what we would like to do and so for as far as birth control um, I'm not really sure I don't know how I feel about birth control as far as like hormonal birth control like birth control pills or um, definitely not getting an IUD I know a lot of people that have had bad experiences with that, with that and you know obviously we're gonna be having children hopefully before five years so it's not really something I'm looking at um, so I don't know how I feel about hormonal birth control, and it's, in general, I really don't like medications. Um, there's always risks associated with that, so you know we'll we'll see what happens. Um, not what happens, but uh, you know we'll see what we decide uh, upon as far as that because we're not really ready for ch more children right now. Um, definitely not with a newborn. Uh, yeah. So, but I would like my children to be somewhat somewhat close in age. My sister and I are uh, five years apart and I feel like that was a little bit farther than what I prefer but like I said we'll see and it's not just up to us it's you know whatever we're blessed with so yeah um as far as uh postpartum healing um now let me say I had a pap smear at my visit and that was really painful. I did not expect it to be because um we didn't necessarily wait the full six week postpartum for, um, what's a delicate way to put this, you know, to resume our normal activities, I guess. I don't know how to say it. I'm kind of shy in that way. Um, and that really wasn't super painful. It was, sen it was sensitive. Um, and it's something to ease back into, I recommend, you know, don't just go full force in there. <laughs> um, but I didn't really have a, big pain issue but when I had my pap smear that hurt like heck really bad I was not expecting it when they used the speculum um that was she was it was really painful and as she was like trying to kind of get back there to get the sample um I just told her I can't I can't take it anymore so she did the best that she could to get a sample uh for my cervix but she doesn't know if she got a sample because I, I couldn't I wouldn't let her push it back more and I have like a really far set back cervix I guess um, so that was really painful. So I don't even know if she got the pap smear sample. So I would recommend if you can wait on your pap smear until they're healed, until you're healed, uh, I would wait. Um, uh, but I was due for it and I didn't think it was going to hurt that bad. Even the nurse, she's like, oh, you're due for the pap smear. Is that okay? And she gave me this look like, Ugh. but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. And it's not horrible, but it, it was definitely worse than like the cervical checks and things like that. And um, yeah, I would, I, I would recommend waiting, especially if you had um, a tear or an episiotomy, anything like that. Um, so she did check on that, and I also had an extra like flap of skin near my near the opening, um, and I was wondering what the heck that was from. Is it from the stitches, or you know why I had that? If I was having a prolapse, that would be really scary. Um, of course, you read up on things. I shouldn't be googling things because <laughs> I get all freaked out that I have this or that. Um, and she checked it and she said it's normal, just like a ridge that um, you can get and 
you don't get it from the stitching and she said that it should go away um, but what you can do is what she told me I could do is use kind of like a lubricant and kind of massage the area to kind of get that to flatten out a little bit and I guess it's just from the tear um, so it's not a big deal it's something that'll go away not something permanent and I asked her if I have more children um, if I'm gonna tear and she said not necessarily I mean it's definitely a possibility I mean obviously I didn't expect her to know of course you know but I thought maybe she would say I'm more prone to it but she said I wasn't necessarily more prone to it um, and then she also mentioned that you know as far as you know sex and things like that 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 would maybe be something that would hurt for a while she told me that hurt her for a while like six to eight weeks um, you know definitely normal to have some you know tenderness or pain even full-on pain um, and I was reading on like baby center uh, forums and things like that, that a lot of people are having pain and you know they're farther out than I am so I think that's pretty normal and it's not really something that I expected um, I don't know why, I just, I never thought that that would be an issue afterwards, that, but it can be a year, an uh, uh, issue up to sometimes even a year for some people, so, um, an unexpected thing, but I haven't had a big issue with that, um, just something to kind of look out for, you know, to know that that's fairly common, in case you don't know, or afraid to ask about it, because it's kind of a sensitive topic. Um, but as far as my healing has gone, yeah, my stitches are gone, and I told you about the extra flap of skin that I was kind of concerned about. Um, my postpartum body, I feel really great. I feel thin. I'm not thin by any standards. I'm not thin. But I feel really good. Like, I just feel, like, healthy. Um, I have definitely some extra skin um, from the, obviously being pregnant. I It's not too bad though because like I said I already had kind of a belly before so my stomach didn't stretch probably as much as these very thin girls or if you're very thin um, I didn't you know you might have more um, extra skin. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I'm not, it has to do with elastic, elasticity of your skin as well. Um, I also have stretch marks. Um, definitely at the last two weeks of pregnancy, uh, my stretch marks really presented themselves and kind of grew like vines. And I have some definitely dark red stretch marks, but I'm using coconut oil on my stretch marks. Um, and supposedly that's something that helps fade them as well as shea butter. And I, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, that's rude. <laughs> I um, also purchased some uh, shea butter as well. I haven't started using that yet. I wanted to kind of see how the coconut oil did on its own, but I'll be updating on that to see, you know, how they're fading. Um, yeah, so I think that's really it postpartum. Um, I'm not going to go too much further and make this super long video. Um, so I'll go ahead and just quickly show, you know, my postpartum six week body. Um, oh, I have to say one more thing. If you're breastfeeding, your boobs deflate completely. <laughs> I cannot believe, I knew that would happen eventually, but I didn't realize how quickly, like, my boobs would just be, like, hanging down. And, you know, it's worth it, 100%, but it sucks. <laughs> I don't like it. When I look in the mirror, sometimes I'm like, ugh, but he's so worth it. You know, your babies are worth it. Anyway, let me go to the postpartum um, body here, update, belly update. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm doing this on my iPad, so I'm trying to stabilize it here. Um, so let me here walk back further, show you quickly this tank top on. I don't know how really well you can see, but um, for me, it's gotten a lot flatter. Um, yeah. I don't know how comfortable I feel showing my bare belly, but if somebody really wants to see, like, kind of my evolution of my stretch marks, of tr them, how they are fading, uh, I'm trying, hoping that they are fading, let me know, and I, I guess I will, if somebody really wants to see that and they're interested, I will. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I think, I think that's it. And I definitely will um, be uploading some clips of Amir. I have some clips on my phone, and my phone is not connected with 
my YouTube account, so I'm not sure I have to like lo upload it to the computer. And then, um, yeah, I will be uploading some clips and stuff of Amir as well. I will continue weekly up, uh, life updates with Amir as well and uploading other videos, you know, tips and tricks that I think are helpful about breastfeeding or whatever, you know, I find. And I'll probably end up doing some reviews on products that I think are really useful for um, my baby. So, yeah, thank you uh, for watching. I hope you um, found this helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.